Holy moly, hello everyone. It has been um, probably just over a year. I think last November, like 14, 15 months ago, was the last time I filmed. Um, so I do have a lot of updates and a lot of things. I have a couple old videos that like I filmed, but I never published them, might publish them. Um, but just my life has been a little crazy, good and bad. Um, I finally moved into a house. I'll probably show you later what my house looks like. Uh, just moved in and then finally moved in about seven months ago and there's just a lot of stuff that still needed to be done, some expected, some unexpected, so I'm still in the process of unpacking and uh, there's a few things I need to do. So I'm going to start with doing stitch fix. I won't be able to do nearly as many videos as I used to, like I'm not going to be able to do like I was doing two and three weeks sometimes, uh, but I'm hoping to do a couple a month for starts. Um, since I haven't done this in a little over a year, I'm sure things have changed drastically, so I'm going to have to reteach myself how to edit and how to put things on. And um, Sometimes it was already a little bit difficult, so um, yeah. Uh, so just bear with me while I try to start this up again. I'm going to start with just a stitch fix, and then I'll go back to probably some of the unboxing and makeup videos and stuff like that. Um, thank you so much for those of you who have waited. Um, for like over a year. Thanks for some of the comments um, either on my Facebook page or on the YouTube. And uh, let's get started. We're going to look at Stitch Fix. Now Stitch Fix just launched this new um, thing that they're trying. I think it's in a beta test. They've like really expanded since the last time I was um, doing this. They have plus sizes now. Um, a lot of my friends at work are trying it and like my friend just got a really, really pretty dress the other day, really pretty. Um, kind of hoping it's in here, in my box, because we got our boxes the same day. But anyway, um, and then they also have guys, style, styling for guys, so um, they've really come a long way since I last did this. But they're, something that's in beta right now, they are doing, for $49, you can get unlimited fixes for a year, and then I believe you get that $49 back. Um, I did ask my friends if they were offered it, and they weren't. Um, Stitch Fix did, you know, let people know that they're just sending it to a few people for now. Um, I was one of those lucky people, um, but I guess if it's working out, then um, I'm assuming that they'll expand it further. So, anyway, I'm hoping that Kat is my same stylist. I can't remember if it's Kat or Kate. I think it's Kat. Um, hi. And I've only gotten two actual Stitch Fixes since the last time I filmed, so um, this is kind of exciting for me because I haven't done much Stitch Fixing, and I can't do too much yet because I'm still... Uh, Again, working on the house, so I'm still poor. Um, I'm also still working, and my schedule is busy, so I will try to put up, like I said, a few videos a month to start. As far as that goes, we will get started and see what's in this box. All right, um, I'm assuming pretty much everybody watching this does know what Stitch Fix is. Um, if not, it's a subscription service where you Spell somebody sends you clothes, and then you pick out the ones you like, and you send back the ones you don't. If you buy all five items, then you do get a 25% discount. Um, also, please use my referral code if you're new and you're thinking about using it. I appreciate it. I do get um, an instead of just like you will if you recommend it to your friends later. Um, so it's not like I would sponsor it or anything, uh, but it's just the same referral code. So I'd appreciate it if you use it. It'll be in the link below in the description bar. But anyway, um, stylist sends you clothes. Then you give them feedback on why you like certain items and why you didn't. And then um, each fix is supposed to be getting better. I have found a stylist that I really like that sends me, because I had a rough time for a while where I wasn't getting stuff that I loved, but it was also a different stylist. So one thing that has really helped me is I've, you know, sort of kind of ranking which fixes I liked, and then I saw the couple names that I really liked, and I kept requesting them, and then I finally got with Alexandra and Kate. So this is a style card, like, so it shows you, I try not to look at it, but it shows you all the things that you're getting in your boxes and how you might style it, and then they have a little note, so I'm going to read a note to you, and it is from Kate. I don't know why I want to call you call you cat all the time, but hi, I hope you're doing well. I all such fix new about my videos, or I mean, it's on YouTube, but so Kate has been watching my videos and stuff, so I can directly talk to her, and I have missed you, so I'll see you soon again. So she says, hi Mandy, it was good to see your name pop up today. How have you been? I hope 2018 has started out fabulously for you. To begin today, I first grabbed the sexy scallop detailed dress from Nine Britain. That would be amazing for date night, maybe even Valentine's Day with a statement necklace and heels. For a great work to dinner outlook. I thought you would love to wear the skies are blue faux suede skirt. Thank you for not having it be made of animal. Uh, with colorful tights, booties, and the warm Madison Lily sweater. For a more professional look, you could add the colorful Kinsey burgundy blazer with the fun floral lining. Lastly, as it is winter, I chose the olive and oak striped sweater with the pops of mint on the trim, as I know this is a color you love. I don't really love mint. I don't really like pastel -y colors. I like gem and deep and like rich colors. And then I do like bright colors, but not like mint. Like I would like a bright green, but not a mint. But 
she remembers that like color and that's most important. I hope you're I hope you're staying warm in where I live, although if you've watched my videos I'm sure you know a little bit. But uh, it is actually warm today. It's like 55 and normally it's like low 40s up to 30s. Uh, let me know if you are if you have any styling wishes for spring. Enjoy Kate. I did not get um, because I wanted to look up her name and make sure I wasn't requesting Kat or Kate, which I think I, I I've asked them a couple times like please always give me the same stylist, but I just get nervous that I'm going to they're gonna forget. I don't know if they have like a little pop up that says hey yes this is all the print one she prefers. I don't know, but anyway so I always get nervous. So I always want to write like please um, give me Kate. I meant to like write her note like request certain items and stuff, but I never got to it. And so she's styling me kind of just on what she knows already, but I didn't like say like, I want to date night outfit or I want work clothes or play clothes, whatever. If I got everything in my box, um, it would be $183.50. Um, now they are going to take that $49 off if I choose to buy something. So that's part of the reason. And then there's a 25% discount. If there was no discount and no credit, um, it would be $310 for everything. I will show you, so right now I'm going to show you what I got. And then I will try it on and I'll tell you how much it is. This is kind of cute. So this must be the mint sweater. Keyhole kind of sweater. And like navy-ish with little white threads. So this is the color green I like. I already have a dress from Stitch Fix that's almost the same color. Ooh, I like scallop stuff. I do like scallop stuff. And it has lace pieces. Uh, I do wish, like, I really love this color, but I wish they wouldn't have sent this color just because I already have a dress that's almost exactly the same color. And I do wear the heck out of it. Then, this is the blazer. It's a very lightweight blazer. Hopefully they remember to size up because my shoulders don't like to fit in things like jackets and blazers. Oof. Okay, so I have weird texture things. Like, I don't like the feeling of suede very much, um, which I wouldn't be having to touch this very much to put it on. But velvet, I freaking hate velvet. Like, I hate it so much. Like, it makes my elbows feel weird and my arms feel weird. Does anybody else get like that? My grandma got like that, too. I think she taught me to be weird like that. Anyway, this, ugh, ugh, okay, this skirt, which... I think it goes like this. Um, is very pretty. Um, it's navy, which I do have a thing with navy right now. I do really like navy. I used to hate it, but like then I get awkward because I'm like, what color do I wear with it? Because I've like I don't have very many. Like a lot of my shoes are black, black and navy. That's a faux pas. You should not do that. Said my grandma. My grandma is putting all these things in my life. I love her. Anyway, it does have little cutouts. All right, I'm going to try these on and I'll be right back. This is the Madison Lily Furkle Keyhole Detail Pullover. It's $42. And, oh, this is Stitch Fix number 40 for me. That's a little ridiculous. Um, so this is actually like mildly warm. It's not as itchy as I would think for the fabric. And it's not, um, it looks like it's heavy, but it's not heavy or cool. Like it, there's not air going through it. It's very comfortable. I like the feel of it. I'm not sure it's the most flattering on me. So... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of undecided if I like it or not. My boyfriend says he likes it. Obviously, I want him to like what I'm wearing, but um, I also need to like it too. So I'm not. I'm kind of undecided. This one might be one you guys have to help me on. So here's what it looks like. I will show you this. Um, how they cut it is kind of like already a little bit frayed. So um, you know, you just be, have to be careful that it didn't get worse. And look, my dog hair would blend in nicely with this. The little white threads and stuff. So. Item number one. This is the Olive and Oak Marianne Striped Pullover. It's $58. And then this is the Skies Are Blue Reed Laser Cut Faux Suede Skirt. And it's $54. And I believe this is in petite, which is really nice. So, because it says my size, but then it says a P afterwards. So, that's really nice um, because it does hit me exactly where I want it to. I'll show you the shirt after I show you the skirt because I will untuck it. The, the material, if I'm prepared to touch it, I feel a little bit better, like it's not as weird to me. Um, I do love how it's cut, like I love this stuff. However, I already have a denim pencil skirt. Um, I already have a denim pencil skirt, it looks very much the same color and everything. Um, and I do wear it quite a, quite a bit, but for the price, I don't think I want to spend that much money on something that I have that's similar, except for I do love these. I didn't change my sizes and I probably lost like uh, 10, since my last video you would be able to see like from a year ago um, maybe 15 so anyway I did lose a little bit of weight and I found that I do like clothes just to be like I like fitted clothes still but just a little bit looser so I didn't change my sizes or anything 
Um, so this shirt is actually a little bit large on me, but it's not too much though. But this skirt, like although I think it fits perfectly, it doesn't fit perfectly right here. It's a little, a little bit tight. Not. If I really like the skirt, I would totally still get it. But also where you latch onto it, it's caught onto the shirt twice already, and I've been wearing it for like three minutes. So um, that's not good. I know I can just like probably take pliers and squeeze it down, but it's also a little sharp. So um, that's not a huge issue, but it is because I don't want it to ruin my, my clothes. I mean, these clothes are expensive. Uh, so this is what the skirt looks like. It zips, it's a side zip. And I don't think these go together really well. I don't know if she said that they did or, or not. Um, yeah, I'm sketching again. Okay. And then this is the shirt. Um, it's cuter than I expected for the mint. I do like it, but I feel like it's almost something I can get at Target. Um, the material is just a little bit higher quality feeling than what I could get at Target. Uh, but I do feel like it would stretch just the same. It's a little bit see-through, so I'd have to wear cami over it. It's a little larger than I'd like, but I think I would like this than it being tighter than I would like. Uh, the sleeves are just a little bit long. I could roll them up, it wouldn't be too big of a deal. So I like it, but for the price, probably not. It does have the color blocking or whatever kind of stuff right here. But it's a very thin material. It'd actually be really great for the transition from um, from winter to spring, and it would be really good for fall into winter because it is not a heavy, heavy material, but it's also not super light, so you're gonna like freeze your tail off. Next is the dress, which I know I'm going to probably love. So that's going to be a conundrum, and then I will also try on the blazer. The last two items are the dress and the blazer. This is the Nine Britain Rhiannon lace detail knit dress at $68. And then this, which they did size up for me, one size, which I appreciate um, because it does fit a lot better, um, is the Kinsey Rebecca Stretch Crepe Floral Lining Blazer, which is $88. Um, I'll talk about the blazer first, so then I can take it off and show you the dress. Uh, like I said, it does fit nice. It's not a crisp blazer or like a, a stiff blazer, I guess. Um, it's feels very nice, it's very light, um, it would be a good transition blazer. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm too much into blazers anymore, but I think it's cute. I like the jewel tone colors of both of these items. Um, and I, I like it, not enough for $88, so um, I doubt I'll get it, but it does have a cute little detail where it has floral on it um, throughout. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to see much of it except for right here, uh, but it comes as one button and it comes down to about right here. It is. It does look a little large on me, I think. Um, it looks like my hands are swallowed. It's nice, actually. Some people might not like this, but it seems to want to be flipped this way, so you wouldn't have to always, like, really work hard to get it even, um, unless it's just like that because it's been in the box so long, I don't know. Anyway, I like it, I don't love it, not enough for $88. If it was like $35, I probably would do it. Okay, here is the dress. Um, I'm not sad to say I don't love it. I wish this were a shirt, I would love it. Um, I like, I love the scallops, um, the scallop chest shirt part. Um, I do think this is a little deeper than I would like, or this is thinner than I would like, mainly because this is a very classy dress. This makes it look tacky. So I'm fine with showing some of this, you know, in a shirt or something like that, like, but it just, this looks like a little bit too classy for the bar, but way too showy for church or work or something like that. So that I don't like about it. And I do love the lace detail. Like I said, I love the scalloping. I love the color, although the color was my first big issue because I have a, sh a dress that they sent to me um, a couple years ago that I wear quite often that is the same exact color and it's um, kind of a fit and flare dress too. It, it's a little bit of a different texture. So it's different, but it looks the same. Like if people really didn't pay much attention, they'd be like, girl, you'd be wearing that dress twice a week. So anyway, um, the one thing I don't really like about this is where it cuts right here. It makes me look a little large or that it's like really tight, but it's not tight. Like it feels very comfortable. It's just not flattering right here at all. Uh, so I don't like that. I love the material, and like I said, if this were a shirt, I would get it. So if you guys have any scallop shirts to fix, um, Kate, if you have any scallop shirts, please send them my way because I I really do like the way this looks and I love scallop things. Um, I think I probably have three now from Stitch Fix, um, at least two. So anyway, um, this is what it looks like. It does have the back like that, or it has a keyhole kind of back, and the lace detail is just not my favorite how it's fitting me, and because I already have a color very similar. So that was my box. Please give me your feedback and let me know what you like. It, I've missed doing this so much and I think about it all the time and I'm just like, oh, there's so much stuff to do. Um, and as always, if you, and as always, my tagline, if you're thinking about um, getting a pet, please look at your local animal shelters and your rescues and adopt your best friend, don't shop. And one of my best friends is right there. And then, oh, 
poor Bobo, my, my baby dog, will be six um, in June. She um, had to get her, she's got her ACL repaired, so she can't do anything. She has the coat of shame on and, and stuff, but like I'm glad she won't be limping anymore, won't be in any pain until the other one blows, because it's likely that the other one will blow too. But, so she's a pitiful, pitiful girl right now. Anyway, good, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sticking with me, all, all you people who have stayed subscribed. All right, see you next time.